three. So in today's video, I wanna see if I can repair these clamps. They are Rutland clamps. These are generic clamps, I'm guessing, or rebranded clamps. They're not Bessie clamps. I bought four of them, and shortly after two of them stopped working, they just don't tighten up on my work pieces, so I am going to see if I can fix them. I've got a lot of comments on a previous video. Two main options stuck out, so I'm gonna try those. So nowadays in woodwork, we get a lot of generic tools or rebranded tools. I've seen them with my thicknesser to my chip collector and online and looking online, a lot of these clamps that all look the same, uh, I presume they're made in China, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but I do expect them to work. I buy a lot of stuff from China and they work just fine and they like half the price. In fact, I bought this ratchet clamp from China, I've got two of them, and I absolutely love them. I can use them on my table. It also fits very nicely into my trash. But the question is, would you pay half the price for a tool if all you had to do was take a, an hour or half an hour to modify it? Would you do it? Well, I would, and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna modify these, I'm gonna fix them because I know they can be fixed. And then I'll be quite happy that I paid half the price for these. Because let's be honest, Bessies are expensive. And I do own Bessies, by the way. So the problem I have with these clamps is when you're turning it, it just turns and turns and turns until you run out of thread. Thank you to everyone who commented. I can't take any credit for any of these ideas. The most comments I got was about a channel called Bish Bash Bosch. He did the, the grub screw method, and I presume he got that idea from Bessie. All right, let's start by removing, seeing if we can get the head off. So we unscrew this little stopper here. Once the head's off, I want to see if I can dismantle, dismantle this. They open this up, which I've done before, obviously, but I didn't fix it. Okay, so he just clips on there like that. Maybe this has something to do with it. You can push them in, you might release this. Oh, there we go. Let me try and remember these. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. I better remember those. Yeah, I think we, we will need to remember those. Oh, no. Okay, let's see how this works. So that's the inside that slides along the bar. The bar is making contact. If you look at the head on the basic clamp, Right, if you're looking at the Bessie clamp, where the head makes where the head makes contact with the bar, you can see, I don't know if you can see, there's a grub screw in there. So I'm curious to try and obviously put a grub screw in the head. I've got three different types of grub screws. Um, oh, actually, I've got two sizes of grub screws. So these are the two grub screws I got from my neighbor. All I want to do really is See if I can get a grub screw uh, in the top there. I'm just gonna eyeball this. So even though that looks pretty tidy, and there is a little bulge sticking out there. And I think that would work. I'm, I'm tempted to put the bigger one in. All right, I gotta get this back together now. And it's a good thing I've got a spare one because my memory for taking things apart is not very good, so... Yeah, I was never gonna get that right. Oh, 
top. Look at that. Let me do that again, just in case you end up doing it. Through between the pins, into the black hat, through them springy looking things, back past the pins, and then out the back. Oh, shoot. Yeah, don't do that. I haven't tested it yet. So if it doesn't work, you are going to know about it. All right, let's open it up nice and wide. Let's clamp a. So far, so good. That has worked. If you see those holes in them, these clamps arrived and I needed to clamp everything up. I needed to laminate some wood and they didn't work. So I got so frustrated and impatient. I just drilled holes and I, I thought that I could put stops in them, but it was not a well thought out idea. Another comment was on the filing method. Oh, my neighbor again, John, giving me stuff. This one is not working. So let's mark it with a blue, a blue marker. In the spot where he should really be biting. So there's the mark we just made with the blue pen. Bye. I haven't done too much filing, but you can sort of you can sort of see it. In fact, I'm wondering if it's going to work. Bear in mind that you could probably do that with a a grinder or a or a Dremel. Hmm. So that ain't that ain't doing a good job. There you go. Whew, that is better. So the second time worked and I just filed that a bit deeper. Okay, so both these ideas work and I'm, I'm well chuffed, eh? And it would have been a shame just to chuck them out. So bear in mind, you've got to do the whole bar. And if you're doing it by hand, it's going to take ages. So it's not necessarily the quickest method. And in case you didn't notice my subtle cues, subscribe. The neatest and most effective method, and for me the quickest one, was the grub screw. If you want to turn your cheap clamps into Bessie clamps, into reliable clamps, get some grub screws. You can get them pretty cheap online, I'm sure. My grub screw that I ended up using was a was an 8 mil by, I don't even know, around 6 mils or a quarter of an inch. The grub screw starts to, starts to wear out, turn it a little bit. You've got a full grub screw with thread on it. You can just give that a tweak. And I do own Bessies, by the way, because I bought them after these ones. And if I had to do it again, I might not have bought Bessies and just bought another four of these. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Boom!